A lot of people, including myself, see Tony Sieber as somewhat of a prophet, somewhat of a, a leader. And yet, so does Elon Musk. In fact, Elon Musk is essentially following Tony Sieber's predictions. Now, we're basically ragging on Elon Musk, even though, bizarrely, he's probably the only, the only CEO in the world who is actually doing what Tony Sieber is pretty much saying is the right thing to do. 10 years ago, Tony Sieber actually did something very interesting. Adam Dorr just tweeted this or posted this on X. Just a reminder to everyone who is now thinking seriously about the implications of electric robo-taxis and transportation as a service for the first time at Tony Sieber. Laid all of this out almost 10 years ago in Rethink X's Rethinking Transportation Report. So what did Tony Sieber say 10 years ago about the future of transportation? Here is a few things about the report that clearly Elon Musk read and it's decided were what he needed to follow or what Tesla as a company needed to do in order to truly change the world. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Now, let me make it very clear here. Elon Musk doesn't want to just, just change the world. He wants to get very, you know, very, very rich and very powerful in the process. And you know what? Don't we all? I mean, I would if I could. Tony Sieber, 10 years ago, said that by 2030, within 10 years of regulatory approval of autonomous vehicles, 95% of US passenger miles traveled will be served by on-demand autonomous electric vehicles owned by fleets, not individuals. In a new business model we call transport as a service. Rethinking transportation shows how transport as a service disruption will have enormous implications across the transportation and oil industries, decimating entire portions of their value chains, causing oil demand and prices to plummet and destroying trillions in investor value, but also creating trillions in new business opportunities. Consumer surplus and GDP growth. Now, GDP growing is generally good for everyone wherever that is happening. USA Today said this back in 2017. Rethink X is predicting an overnight sensation that will be no less transformative than the Model T's erasure of the horse and buggy. The printing press's impact on literacy and one modern tech gadget's remaking of communication. You might think what Tony Sieber here and Rethink X are saying is insane. I mean, Vice said this in May 2017. A stunning new forecast projects that the internal combustion engine, along with the entire oil industry, are going to vanish from the face of the damn earth in little more than a decade. Was Sieber right? Will internal combustion and much of the oil industry vanish? Well, I think he's correct. But even more important than that, and more decisive in terms of what Tesla is doing at the moment is the fact that Sieber predicted that most transportation in the United States and in Europe would be traffic as a service or transportation as a service. Now, as far as I know, the only company that's really operating in this sphere as a business is Uber and Lyft, those companies. But they require drivers, human drivers, which are exceptionally expensive, especially in America. Now, if you had human drivers that cost what, say, drivers cost in Indonesia or Thailand or something, uh, that would be a different story. But you're paying for a US driver's wage. That means the cost of, of, of a taxi or transportation as a service is exceptionally expensive. There's no way to remove that cost unless you remove the driver. If Sieber was right, and if 95% of US passenger miles traveled, are served by on-demand autonomous electric vehicles, then there's only one company in the world that's actually making that happen. And there's only one. Maybe you can say some Chinese companies are, are attempting to, and they are definitely working on autonomous driving, and much more so than legacy automakers are. But realistically, one of them clearly stands out. It's investing the most money into this, investing the most risk into this, and really putting all their apples in one basket. And that has become Tesla. Tesla is this year in particular, pivoting to really saying, you know what, 
Tony Sieber got every other damn prediction right. He predicted pretty much everything else. He's predicted solar trends, wind trends, battery trends, prices of these things. He's gotten all of them right. Why the hell are we smarter than this guy now? Are we smarter than this guy now? Is that really our hubris speaking? You know, we're all commenting on YouTube. We're commenting on YouTube. We're all commenting on these electric car forums, on all these places. And we're saying Elon Musk is an idiot. Elon Musk is a moron. And we're really saying Tony Sieber is an idiot because Musk is basically following what Tony Sieber said would happen. What should happen? What makes the most sense? What is best for humanity? That's what he's doing. Now, you may love Elon Musk. You may hate him. And I understand. I understand people's feelings about Elon Musk. He's, he says things that um, sometimes he doesn't think about. And not, I, don't per, I personally try not to do that too much on, on social media. Sometimes I do, but I rein it in a little bit more than Musk. And you know what? Musk says some things and people take that to heart. And I totally understand that. He fires a lot of people. He has to do that. But sometimes people think he doesn't, you know, it's, it doesn't do that fairly. And I understand that. And he's also rich. He's very rich. Rich people, often, we envy them. It's normal. It's normal human feelings. We envy them, and then we want to take them down to our level. Kind of like the crabs in the bucket. We want to pull the crabs down. Now, the truth is, Tesla is pivoting their strategy. They will have invested over $10 billion by the end of this year into basically the vision of driving for the future, that Tony Sieber's vision that was laid out more than 10 years ago. Can they pull it off? I think they can. I mean, do you think that Tesla will have fully autonomous cars by 2030. I'd say that's exceptionally likely considering where they're at today. And they have six years before 2030 comes around. Now, mostly questions responded to Siba. Siba actually reposted this tweet and he said, Rethink X is amazing. We are lucky to have you sharing your research. Cost curves are like gravity. Gravity is fact, it's settled science. Opinions don't matter. And Bella Cream Loopering said this, Rethink X is ahead of everyone. I'm not aware of any institution that deals with technological disruption and the adoption of new technologies at such a high level, at such a high scientific level as Tony Sieber and this group. They actually have only one flaw. Their predictions are sometimes too cautious. Adoption and disruption happen faster than even these scientists predict. Now, Tony Business said, true, and Tony Sieber is a visionary. Someone else said, you guys are amazing. It's like reading sci-fi, but things are real. Feels like crystal ball experience. Thank you. And Gregory Forster said something really interesting. He said this, I just watched Sieber's speech on this from 2020. He said several times, all it takes is one company to solve self-driving and the revolution begins. In Tesla's case, if they were to be the one, they are more than happy to sell their computing power, their service, to sell for self-driving, to license it to other automakers. So this would, Serbia would be correct here. Apparently Elon Musk and Tesla have already negotiated a deal with a major automaker for them to use Tesla's full self-driving suite. It's already starting. He went on to say, Within 10 years of the first true level four autonomous vehicle, 95% of all passenger miles will be autonomous EVs. So we feel like Tesla, you need to sell more cars. You need to sell more cars. That should be number one focus. That should be number one focus. And Elon Musk saying, well, hang on a minute. Sieber gets all these predictions right. And we're just going to ignore him on this. We're just going to pretend like this isn't going to happen. We've got to pretend like his most important prediction isn't going to play out. We're going to pretend like he hasn't done the research. We're going to pretend like we're smarter than Siba, who's gotten everything correct. What do you think? Are we smarter than Tony Siba, Or are Musk and Siba basically doing what no one else is brave enough to admit is what we all should be doing? Thanks for watching.